Welcome back friends, in the previous video we have created this home page UI and now in this video we are going to set up the route and also we are going to add the login and register page UI. So now without wasting any time let's get into it. So we are under the coding section here. So now first of all let's install react router DOM uh, so that we can configure our routes. So here I will be using yarn, yarn at react router DOM. So this will install React Auto DOM version 6 for us. And now let's go to the source folder. So in the source folder, we will go to the app.jsx. So here, uh, first of all, let's go to the main.jsx. And here under the provider, let's add browser router. So we will be having the browser router here. So we have the browser router. So here import browser router from React Router DOM. So our React Router DOM is installing. Uh, now it is installed successfully here. So let's close the first terminal and just save it. Now let's go to the app.jsx and here we will set up our routes. So first of all here I'm going to add the routes here. So instead of switch now in React Router DOM 6 we have the routes here. So we will be using that and then we will add the route. So let's add the route here. So first of all for the home page we will add this route here and this we have element as home page. So just save this here so you can uh, see that we will be having this home page here. So now we have the home page. Now let's go here and let's create first of all let's create some more pages and first of all let's create the components for those pages and here will be the login uh, auth so auth components. So we need auth components here. So here will be our auth components and then we will create the pages. So first of all here we will the create the pages for auth. So auth pages and here we will be having the first page for login and then second page we will be having for the register. So here we will be creating the register dot jsx and then create the login.jsx and then here for the auth components we are going to create the forms here so first of all there will be the login form and then there will be register form so now we have the components here and let's first of all create the simple components so this is a register just save this uh, register page and then we have the login page also here so till now our login form and register form is empty so now let's add the routes for this so we will be having the route for the login and for the login we will be having the login page and then uh, here we will be having only login and then for the register we will be having so we will create the route for register and here we will add register and we have imported it successfully so now just save this so we have this one here so now when user will go to the login so here you can see that whenever user is getting to the login now our page is refreshing but we don't want so this is because we have used anchor tag there so now how we can uh, do this so here we will go to the navigation here under the navigation instead of a we will be using link so we have the link and we have imported this so link and instead of this h reference we will be having the two here and then here we will be having the link just save this now let's go to the login so now we are under the login here so you can see that uh, our pages 
not refreshing so we are under the login so let's go back and let's go to the register see that we are under the register and page is not refreshing so now let's implement the login and register form here so now let's implement the form here so we don't need navigation and also app.jsx and main.jsx so these things we don't need so now here what we are going to do so here i'm going to implement the login form first so here will be refce so here we have the login form and this is a component here so we have the login form so here we will define our form here so here we will be having the form so first form is there and by default we are not going to add anything and first of all let's create the states so first of all the state will be for the email and then we will be having the password here so we have the email and also a password so we have to import the use state also here uh, so actually we don't need to import this because we are fetching it from the react class so here we have the form and let's add something here so here we will add the form group so here will be the form group so we have the form group here and then we will be having the la uh, label here so label is for the email and we will be having the email so actually we don't need any label here so we will be directly using the input so input with text and here we will be having the class so class will be form control and we need the name also so name will be email and id if you want i will not do that so here we will having the placeholder so placeholder will be for the email so type will be email here and then same thing we want and also we need the margin by to do so let's add another one here so this will be for the password and let's change here so for the password password and here will be also a password here so just save this and this one is for the login so here we will be handling these events with the help of state so value email and here we'll be having the value password and on change we also need so here we'll be having on change and set password then here on change to set the email and let's handle the on submit event here so on submit so on submit this will come from the props only so that's why we are not going to handle it for now and one more thing we need also a submit button here so submit button will also be there but we don't need any form group so here just button will be there so button dot submit uh, submit button will be there and then we need class name as btn btn primary and also we need margin by 2 and also form control and here we will write login just save this and now let's go here to the login and let's implement here the login form so first of all what we are going to do so here we will be having the div div with class as uh, container so container fluid will be the container fluid and then we will be having the display flex also here so display flex align items center uh, so actually we don't need here so we will be having the container fluid and then we will be having the row here and then we need the call md6 and offset then that's great so here what we are going to do so here we will be implementing the login form so which is from the components here just save this and now let's see the changes here so you can see that we have this type of login form and then here let's create one h1 tag so h1 tag it will be having the class name as display1 and we will be having the login and also we need the margin by to 5 just save this now you can see that we have this type of login here so let me add col md5 here so that will be more good and instead of offset md3 
we will be having MX auto and margin of 5 as well. So this will make it to the center. And we need login to the center as well. So for that, what we are going to do, so we are going to add text center here. Just save this. Now we can see the login at the top here. So here I will write login here. And here users can log in and we if we don't want autocomplete then simply write here autocomplete as off just save this so autocomplete false So just leave about this. Uh, here we have the form here, and here auto complete will be off only. So we have completed for the login, and same for the register we will do. So I'm going to copy this, and here one more thing we have to do, and at the bottom we will be creating the same thing here. Uh, so let's do that. So here will be the paragraph tag, and class will be small and but instead of that we will be having the link tag uh, link to slash login so we will be having the link to the login and there we will be having the paragraph tag and here what we are going to do so it will be having the class as mx auto so mx auto class will be the uh, sorry it will be ms auto so margin start auto so from the left side it will be auto here and then we are going to write login here not not a member we will write register not a member so register here just save this now we can see the changes here as well so let's see it is compiled or not so i have to refresh it so there we have some errors so let's see what are those errors here link is not defined so we have to import the link here just save this and now you can see the changes so we have this one here so but ms auto is not working instead of ms auto let's write text and just save this so actually we are not having the text at end so just leave that just save this as we don't have the paragraph here so here what i'm going to do so i'm going to copy this and same for the register let's paste this Here I'm going to write register here. So register here. So instead of this login form, we will be having the register form. So register form is not currently created yet. So let's create that. So we have the register form here. Now let's go to the login form and copy everything. So I'm going to copy everything here and just paste it also we need the classes here so i'm going to copy the classes just copy this and paste it here so here what we are going to do so we are going to add the name as well so let's add the name name set name and then we need the confirm password so we have the conf password confirmation and then here I am going to copy this and here what we are going to add so instead of email we will be having the name and type will be text by default and here we will be having the name on change we need the name and here we are going to set the name here set name so then here we need for the password confirmation so for type will be password here and name will be password confirmation and same 
here we will write retype password and here will be password confirmation and we are going to write set password confirmation just save this and now when we will go to the register here so here we should get the register form here you can see that we have the register form here and also we have to change the button that will be for the register just save this and here we will for the login already a member already a member then just login just save this now we can see the changes so whenever I will go to the register here so actually I have to refresh there is something missing so let's see what is missing here so we have missing as link is not defined so same type of error we have to import the link as well so here we have the link now we can log in we can register and everything we can do so let's move to the home page so here we can click on login as well as we can register so now we have implemented the register and login page UI here for the login system and also we have set up the routing here so in the next video we will add the functionality to this login system so that user can log into the dashboard so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in the comment section i will definitely respond to that at last thanks for watching i will see you in the